Today we're going to be taking a look at my new favorite motion control system, the Rhino Arc 2. So let's check it out. Hey, I just want to say I really appreciate you taking the time to meet with me, Glenn. I know you're a very busy man. How many times do I got to tell you, DP? It's Mr. Director. Right, Mr. Director. I apologize. That's right. Look, I'm a busy man. You got 60 seconds. Somebody bring me a latte. Okay, look, I'll make this quick. I just have a few ideas of how we could spice up our videos. Are you insinuating that there's something wrong with my videos, with my directing style? No, I'm not trying to say that at all. I think your videos are great. I just think by adding some movement to our shots, here we go with this conversation again. Just a little bit of movement can really keep audience retention high. I mean, think of what we could do. We could, we could add panning shots and slider shots, and we could even add parallax to our shots. I mean, this would totally take our videos to the next level. Look, DP. When you're sitting in this chair, the director's chair, then you can call the shots. But as long as I'm sitting here, then I'm calling the shot. And if I say no motion, well, guess what? No motion. Now get back to work. You know what? With that kind of attitude, it's no wonder people don't wanna work with you around here. I'm done with this channel. I quit. And you know what? I think your videos stink anyways. I'm out of here. It's hard to find good help around here. Just about all of us want our videos to look more cinematic like Hollywood style movies. At least I know that's what I strive to do. And one way to do that is to add smooth, consistent motion to our shots. Just take a look at any of your favorite movies and you'll see motion throughout the entire film. As a matter of fact, it's usually a creative decision to have a still shot for a long period of time, creating a sense of uneasiness. But creating quality, smooth motion used to be something exclusive to high budget movie sets that use things like dollies and expensive fluid heads, cranes, and extremely large crews to pull it off. And although these things are still used, today we have solutions like this. This is a three axis motion control system by Rhino called the ARC-2. This system allows me to get creative shots on my own that previously would have been impossible. This piece of gear single-handedly has taken my production quality to the next level. The kit I got is the Essentials Kit with the addition of the Focus Motor. This kit includes the ARC-2, 24-inch carbon fiber Rhino slider, high-speed motor, carrying case, and again, I got the Focus Motor giving me an additional fourth axis of control. The link is in the description below. I've had this kit for a few months now and have been able to use it for interviews, product reviews, on bigger sets with multiple cameras. I even used it for my own testimony video. And I've used it for countless real estate videos. So I think it's safe to say that I have a decent working knowledge of how well the ARC-2 system works. So let's go over some of its main features. Starting off with mounting, one of the main benefits of the Rhino slider versus my previous slider is the mounting screw in the middle. It makes things very convenient and saves a ton of time when it comes to mounting. With my previous slider, I would have to rotate the entire slider, which wasn't always easy and is a huge pain. As for the ARC-2, it features an automated mounting system that can either be mounted to the slider or used as a fluid head on a tripod. The motor has two thumb screws and that's it. The focus motor and camera slide in and lock down with simple levers. As far as the base plate for the camera, it uses a Manfrotto style base plate, which is perfect because it allows me to have consistency across all of my other gear using one simple mounting plate. Setup of the ARC-2 is also very easy with one cable for the slide motor and one cable for the focus motor if you choose to use it. Everything is powered directly off the ARC-2's internal battery and with an additional cable, it even has the ability to power your camera too. 
Once everything is connected and powered on, it's got a one button calibration and that's it, you're ready to go. Right about now, some of you might be in the comments section mentioning the fact that other systems have eliminated using cables and do things completely wirelessly like the Edelkrone system. But what a lot of people don't realize is that some wireless systems take much longer to set up or pair and can sometimes lose connection, being problematic during a shoot. When you're on set or in the middle of a production, speed and efficiency is paramount and you definitely don't wanna lose connection. Speaking of speed, setting up a move is also very convenient with the R2. Using the bottom joystick, you set your position on the slider and the focus of your focus motor. And with the top joystick, you set your pan and tilt. This can also be done using a very super intuitive app. As a side note, currently you can set two positions or keyframes, but as a beta tester without saying too much, I do know that multiple keyframes are in the works and will be released soon, which is a highly anticipated feature of the Arc 2. Once your keyframes are set, you then set the duration you want for your move, whether or not you want it to loop, and how quickly you want the focus to adjust. And that's it, you're ready to go. It's a very simple setup and you can get up and running with a shot in a matter of seconds. Being able to precisely repeat a move opens up a lot of opportunity for creativity. For example, that's how I was able to duplicate myself in that little intro skit that I did in the beginning between the director and the DP. It's also how I was able to add some interest to my Hollyland Lark 150 review. Next, we have the option for time-lapse, which can be set using either a simple menu or advanced menu for more options. Using the simple menu works very similar to the video setup, but the advanced menu adds the option to control the camera shutter with the optional camera control cable and the option to set the length of your time-lapse video. This will automatically calculate the amount of shots needed for your time-lapse. Having full motion control allows you to add a lot more complexity to your time lapse, like this one I took at Friendship Fountain Park in downtown Jacksonville, Florida. Much more interesting than just a static time lapse. Fluid View allows you to control the Arc 2 manually and is perfect for shots that require precise timing. As I mentioned earlier, the Arc 2 can also be placed on a tripod and used in place of a fluid head. So if you are on a quick run and gun situation, you can eliminate a lot of weight from your camera package by using the slider and using the Arc 2 as a fluid head. Many of the Arc 2 features can be controlled either directly from the Arc 2 via the joysticks or controlled remotely via the Rhino Arc 2 app, which is very easy to use, has a very nice interface to it, and really adds a whole nother level of possibilities. The face tracking mode is also a really cool feature. This is designed to track a subject during an interview or to track yourself during a vlog style setup. Again, the Arc 2 and Rhino slider has single-handedly taken my production value to the next level and really gives me the ability to add much more value to my clients. But if I did have to complain about one thing, it would be the fact that the camera is a little bit off-centered on the Arc 2 itself. It's not centered directly in the middle. And what that can do at times is if you're doing a shot with parallax in it and the camera is tilted just a little bit, then as you're parallaxing in your shot, you can kind of see it looks like it's tilting some. and you know, that's something that's easily correctable in post. It's not something that happens all the time. I'll notice it from time to time because I do a lot of real estate videos with it and there's a lot of lines and stuff like that. But again, it's not something that happens all the time. It's easily correctable, but I figure it's something that's worth mentioning in case that is something that is very important to you guys. Overall, I think the Arc 2 is a solid piece of equipment that really adds a ton of production value to just about any shot. The fact that it's easy to use and the company's commitment to improvement through future firmware updates makes this thing a great buy. Hopefully this gives you a good look at this system. I barely touched the surface on what this thing can do because it can really do a lot. But Rhino also has a large Facebook community called Rhino Storyteller with tons of resources to help you learn how to use this. If there's questions that you have and you wanna know something about this, feel free to reach out to me down in the comment section below. There's also an affiliate link down in the description if you're interested in getting it, that helps the channel out. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.